Ladies and gentlemen, after two years of waiting, Baba Is You has dropped a monster update. 150 plus levels, new levels, new mechanics, and a level editor. I am so excited. I am going to dive into the new adventures first because apparently it's a level pack that explores the new mechanics. And once I've learned the new mechanics and conquered everything, I am afterwards gonna go into the level editor stuff. I would suggest you take your time to develop a fun and interesting level I have a Discord server, discord.gg slash Rock, where you can share your levels to other players to look for feedback and you could rate other people's levels with a thumbs up or thumbs down. It's got a better feedback system than the YouTube likes. So let's get into this. Oh, I'm Kiki. No, I'm not, I'm Baba. Oh, Kiki has moved to kill Baba is sleep. I am going to reintroduce these mechanics slowly, but Kiki being moved just lets Kiki go back and forth. Baba is you means that you are the character. Welcome, these adventures showcase entirely new worlds and surprises, have fun. Wall is stop, which means I can't go past it. Door is push, which means I can just shove it. Flag is win, if I touch it, I win. Note that these levels may assume that you know how the game works, so be warned. If you are watching and don't know how this game works, uh, I would recommend watching the first episode of this game. It may look confusing now, but the more you experience of this game, the more you learn. It's like learning a language. And if you want to get better, I would recommend watching my full series on it. Just the more you absorb, the better it goes for you. So a cool looking world map. There's a lot of new items. This one's called New Friends. <laughs> GG is you too. Wait, Fofo is you, GG is you too. So I move one with arrow keys and the W another one with WASD. Already changing a lot. So I gotta get to flag is win in the corner. Water is sink, which means that if I run over it, I will be destroyed along with the water. Ice is stop and wall and ice is stop. So I cannot make it past either of them. There is lava is defeat. If I touch it, I lose, but the lava stays. There is rock and push, which encourages me to make rock is push. So I'll do that. So that can send it into the water. And then what I think I need to do is send rocks up above the lava because the feet only kills objects that are you. Rocks are not you. And now that the rocks above the water, I can simply push the rocks into the water. And it does look, I'm gonna, look like I'm gonna need all three rocks, huh? Yeah, well, goodbye, Gigi. You are a worthy sacrifice. Well, but now Kiki can be you. What the, actually, how could I get Kiki as you? Here's the idea then. We're gonna take this back. So before I sacrifice Gigi, what I could do, actually, instead of push that rock, is I could push the word push into the water. Yeah, now I have Kiki, which might be a lot better. If I can make Kiki is you too, that would be great. I'm close, but not quite. Well, maybe this is all I need. Yeah, I have Kiki now. I can make Kiki is you too. It's just a little awkward. So let me push this whole statement over here and then push Kiki down. Now Kiki is me and I can win. There we go. So the levels are well designed so far. Apparently there are some real um, head scratchers in this. There's like a variety of difficulty. What the? <laughs> music. Oh my God, that is so much cool stuff to this game. It's a, it's a musical performance. All right, so Baba is you, belt is shift, flag is win. Okay, this is just a showcase. In addition to head scratchers, it seems that there's also just showcase levels. So a nice variety, I'm sure. Let's go to level three. Who is it? It is you. Wow. Arrow follow it. This is a cool looking blob. So water is stop. I facing it is move. I is defeat. I is tiger. How about we have arrow is you? That's bad. Because if I make arrow you, all that's going to happen is that eyes are going to kill the arrows. But maybe that's fine. And now it blocks and I can't get through. So that's not good. What I need to do is maybe have eyes follow. Here's what I need, Here's what I need to do. I follow arrow. Because I facing it is move. So now it won't hit me. 
Now it won't hit me. Now it won't hit me. You will still hit me. So something needs to be done about that. All right, how about this then? We do eyes follow it, okay? And this way will be kind of similar. The difference is now arrow is you. So these arrows will get in fine. So here's how it's gotta go. I like how the arrows point. What happens is the eye will move out of the way. Oh, I need to get a second eye in here. I need one eye to be up here and then one eye or one arrow to bait the other eye out of the way. Actually, I might need multiple. This is like a coordinated effort. Arrow team six here. And then up, over, over. But if I go down, oh, it's not facing. So this should win. I didn't need the fourth eye or fourth arrow. Only three. <laughs> uh, this is a cool twist on the game. It feels like I'm playing it again for the first time. God, I miss Bob. But what is 3D? Baba is 3D. Mm. <laughs> is Baba. No way. Are you kidding? I gotta make it through this maze, you're telling me. Okay, well, onward I go. I am already lost. I should have memorized the maze clearly. Oh, wait, I see something. Is. Flag is stop. Oh, that's good. I wanted to hit that. I probably still need to find the flag. Uh, that's also defeat. I mean, I could find out. Do we think the fire will kill me? Hmm. This is a game about experimentation. Sometimes you actually do have to ask those questions. Just because fire normally kills you does not mean it always kills you. He, there's the flag. They went all out for this update. It's another simple maze. Is it now? Foot. I must get through the feet. Wait, tile and foot is stopped though. And what's with the win? And there's another is down here. Wait, I thought tile was stop. How is tile stop if I can push is onto stop? Let me see Baba is 3D again. No, this is not manageable. Wait, these are fake. These are fake. These aren't real feet or tiles through here. God, this maze is actually kind of evil. I don't know how I feel about this game being 3D. It's weird. I'm so lost. Thankfully, it does take me to the is. There we go. Yes. Oh, now I gotta make Baba is win. Yes, yes, yes. Set it up. <laughs> Baba is 3D, Baba is win. So Baba is 3D definitely implies Baba is you. I mean, that's well established. It's more like you can win while in 3D as yourself is the revelation there. Colorful cavern. Gem is red and orange and yellow and lime and cyan and pink. Ah, you mean these gems. Oh, the gems on the bottom right. Never mind. I like how it changes colors. Fungi is defeat. Cliff is cliff. Cliff is stop. All right, well, clearly gem is you. Now, the question is, can I make gem you whilst it's all these colors? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. All right, perfect. Y'all ready? Gem is you and orange and yellow and lime and cyan and pink. It's perfect. Oh, but what is win? What is win? Well, I didn't think about that. Clearly, I need to form a sentence. A very long sentence here. Okay, so I need to reset. Because I need to make gem and baba is you. That was fun while it lasted. Let's do this for real. It's gonna have to be a vertical statement along this column. And the way it would happen is by having something is you and that same thing is win. It would probably have to look like gem is win. Or, hear me out, we have gem is you and blank and blank and blank and blank and blank and win. The sentence has to end with win, but it's going to look like gem is you and cyan and lime and pink and win. No, because I see where win needs to be. The issue with that is that I can't have it be you and pink and cyan and lime. Son of a bitch, I see it. Ah, uh, see, so the problem was I wanted to make a static sentence that went down this line, but here's the sentence I actually have to make. Yeah, so here's how it's gotta go. 
I set up you here and then I'll set up gem is above so gem is you and then I just need to push down this long line and it will form the sentence I want that's how it's done sacrifice Baba to win with gem warming back up to the tricks that this game can throw at me it's been a while even since my replay of this game because I thought that it was gonna come out at the beginning of the year so Baba twins there's another 3d and there's a note up there let me read that wait a second is it possible for me to read this note good to know move downwards to switch which character you're controlling okay so it might not matter which baba i'm controlling well uh, this is confusing i think i control both babas at the same time don't i right well no i what i did see was that i have to get baba is float with one but i don't know what exactly they want me to do by moving downwards oh let me make baba is float damn it so I move downwards. So now I control the other Baba. So now I can go and win, right? This is weird. But I can float over that. So now that I'm not here, or now that I am on this flag, I need to move downwards so I can make Baba is not float. And then I win with the other Baba that was on top of the flag. Yeah, so I just have to press down because that's equivalent to moving backwards, I see. What is this? Bob Arcade. Bob Arcade. Whoa! New adventures. Baba Hour. Let's play. It's like Rush Hour, but Baba. I, I gotta play this like the traditional game Rush Hour, where you take things and you move them over. Oh, that's cool. So I pick the both of these and move them up. Dude, imagine the rules to get this to work. That's crazy. Okay, let me actually solve this puzzle now. So, this is these are two cars. So what I need to do, I need to move this up and then move this over twice so I can move this down. Now I can move this in and now I can move this down. Oh, this is a individual one. Let me move this back and move this up. Now I'll move it over and then move this down. Actually, no, what I want is to move both of these up so that I can move this over and then, so I can still move this over no, that doesn't quite work. I was thinking, oh, I can move this down and then this over. Well, I guess I can move this down. Well, one thing I can do at least is move this down and then move this over. And now move this up. And now I'm almost through. Real close. Well, here's how it's got to go then. I got to move these back down so I can move this top thing over. And then what I can do is move this up. And then I can move this up. Yeah, I didn't need to do half these steps. Or near the end anyways. I can now bring this to the flag. And push the flag is win and win. Okay. Arcade game simulated in Baba is you. I love it. The Baba arcade is open. Baba invaders. Yo! Okay, hold on. How do I fire? Do I just fire with time? No, I hold up the fire. Oh, get them. They're coming too close to me. Oh, God. They keep dodging, too. Sons of bitches. Oh, God. This is bad. 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 <laughs> Reset. Now I know I can fire up. So let me just kind of pick them off. I may have to play this like a puzzler, though. Instead of just kind of mindlessly spamming, I probably need to think about this. Almost predictive moving. There we go. I got all the front lines. Well, this is not easy. I actually have to do a decent amount of predicting. How about now? There we go. So I wait and now fire. 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 <laughs> uh, that played oddly. <laughs> That was very strange. Gravity chamber. This. What the? Oh, this is like one of those mobile games where you move something until it hits the, the wall. So what's my goal? Do I have to get the box to the flag? No, I have to get Baba to the flag. So I have to reverse the rules here, basically. So now the reverse, and now Baba gets to the flag, but not really... Baba needs to go up. I can get f box on the flag, so I need to get Baba there. 
Surely this means I can reverse him? No. Wait, no, this does reverse him. What was I thinking? There we go. What a weird game. <laughs> what a strange, strange game. Ah, uh, first area complete. Yay? <laughs> These are so weird. Snake Kiki. Oh my god. I eat the apple. Every time I eat an apple, the inchworm moves closer to creating Kiki as win under my face. Perfect. Okay, so just get all the apples and don't eat my own tail. Doesn't sound too bad. Ooh, oh, we're almost there. So close. One more apple. There it is. That should do it. A classic. Darkish Dungeon. Then I I don't know it. I haven't played it. What is that thing? It's a candle. There's a door. Oh no, there's two candles. How do I get through the door? There's a ghost. It's just running around. Don't Oh god, I lost the life already. Okay, I got a key for the door. Oh, I have one life left. Oh no. Oh god, these ghosts. Don't hurt me. Okay, I'm back. There's a foot! I've got a foot. What on earth does the foot do? Is that let me kick the ghosts? What is this land? Maybe I can punt the ghosts? Or the skulls? What? What got me? Oh, I have no idea. Okay, just don't touch the skulls. How about that? I need to go to the... Right? Can I go through this? We got a cheeseburger for more HP. Good. And another key. Well, maybe now that I have enough lives, I can make it through a skull. So this way. I can see now. New item. What is this game? Uh, no, I came from here, but wait, this is a new area I haven't seen before. What is this? Oh, another cheeseburger. Okay, maybe this this rightwards hallway does me a solid. Okay, there's another little bit of health back here, I'm sure. No, wait, there's rocks. Rocks I can push around? Well, I don't know what I'm doing. Think I can see this well? Push the rock, there's a door. Okay, I killed it, I can kill the skull. No, there's a, a door here, I need to find another key. Well, let's see, it's probably back where I came. Oh, that skull. I don't want to mess with that. Let's just head back and back it up. Back it up. Wait for the ghost to go by. Now I go. Through here. No! No, okay. I got to get that key somehow. Rush towards the key. Safe here. Then what I have to do is follow the ghost around in this direction so I can make it back. And now I have the key for the door, which should hopefully win me the level. Yeah! <laughs> this is... This is great. This is something else. Teamwork is a must. Move down to switch units. Kiki is hot. Gigi is stop. Fofo is float. Algae is sink. I'm actually going to skip on this level. The, three, the first person stuff. Oh, God. It's too much for me right now. I will do this eventually. How about jump up Baba Star instead? Okay. <laughs> it's a 2D platformer. Orb is bonus. And... Nice. I'm a super Baba. I Goomba'd it. Get owned. Okay, let me Goomba on top of you. Got him. And then let me go over here. Thankfully, I'm not blocking anything. I can still move anyway. Okay, there's a bonus orb somewhere in here. Get Goombud. So where is the orb? Here. I can push these boxes. I don't know what they do. That's bad. Let me try jump here and then here and then push this box over. Why? So I can get up on here and now make the... No. No, let me try something else instead. Let me try pushing this box here and now making that jump. I still can't make that jump. Did I really need both of these boxes? Is that what the game's telling me? I, I, I won't settle for having to reset. I might have to reset. I have to reset. I need both of those boxes, damn it. I didn't want to just get the flag. I wanted to get the orb. 
Perfect. Perfect. Got it. I think I just need to get all the boxes and then I can get the orb. That's my guess anyway. So this one shouldn't be too bad. Here we go. And there's the orb. Nice. Bonus orb. I don't know if that actually is going to do anything in this version of the game, but there we go. I got to beat the level. A one orb. The only one I couldn't do is this one. I'll just come back for it. It, it doesn't look too hard. It just looks like more of a pain in the ass. A lot of memory that'll have to happen that I don't want to do right now. How about hedge maze instead? Oh, God. Uh, let me move. Belt is shift. So once I enter this back area, there's no getting out. It's another 3D level. What's with the, all this extra text? Flag is defeat right now. So I need to get in here at the same time that I change. Skull is defeat and flag is win. What's with this water is sink? Why don't I... Oh, belt is shift so I can't get through here. Okay, so I have to become 3D. Great. So I have to come down to here. I have to push this rock into the water. What I have to do is push the other rocks into the waters so I can make water not be sink. You know, that's important and all. And then there's an extra Baba text that nobody knows what it does just yet. I don't mind the 3D levels. It just makes for bad cinema. <laughs> so pushing both the rocks into the water was part of the plan. So now I can make water not sink. So now I can go over the water. And now I can make Baba is you again. So that's at least a little bit better. What about rock is Baba? Why don't I do that? So instead of pushing another rock into there, what I actually need to push in instead of the second rock is like text. Maybe push in the word push. Because I think I actually need the other two pieces of text. Yeah, so now I can break this and now I can have Baba be you again. So what I can now form is Rock is Baba. So now I'm in control of two characters, which should likely let me beat the level. And it will look something like this. Send one Baba through and then get the other Baba into position, which is right here. And get it all set up. Go over and then down. And now flag is a win. There we go. Very manageable. I like that it wasn't 3D the whole time. Going back and forth was pretty cool. Well, it seems like there's other worlds inside of here. I'll check out the familiar land. Oh, it is a whole new world. New adventures is where I came from. And now so many more friends. Well, time to check it out.